Uh, as far as viewing, we're very fortunate in Central Oregon to have dark skies. Um, you can get away from the city lights, either going east or west of the city of some uh, bend. Certainly um, the two observatories nearby and uh, Worthy Brewery and Sun River are good opportunities to do a public program and see the comet. But you don't really need a telescope. You can actually see it with binoculars. Hopefully it will get bright enough we can all see it naked eye, but we're not there yet. So we should know in the next week or so. Um, however, right now we have a lot of moonlight. So I do think in about a week or so it's gonna get a little better. Uh, opportunity and also going out later in the evening is a little better than doing it early in the evening. Obviously with the cold weather it's a little tougher to get outside uh, right now but in the next few days uh, in a few weeks actually we'll still have an opportunity to see the comet. Great and you know when people are looking for said comet where should they be? Yeah it's a good question so in between the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper um, there are tons of star charts online. Uh, Sky and Telescope is the one that I highly recommend because it shows from day to day where it is and the relationship. But you have to be in a place where you can see the northern part of the sky. So if you can find the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper, then you should be able to see in between the two, uh, the comet is in between the two.